So it's kind of like what you see on TV, you know, NCIS kind of stuff, and this is not typical for Mandeville, that's for sure. Well, you hear it there first today at five, a scary sight for neighbors in one Mandeville subdivision. The FBI pulled up to a home on their street today and they saw several agencies helping out with their search and that lasted about 10 hours. WDSU reporter Aubrey Kittlian live at the scene. Aubrey, this has a lot of people on the North Shore talking. What's the latest there? Hey, Gina, that's exactly right. So the scene, it is all clear out here on Libra Avenue. The FBI, they are not saying exactly why they showed up. A lot of people out here, they are stunned. Um, it's a little scary. This is what people who live on Libra Avenue woke up to early Thursday morning. The FBI coming in and out of this home with what appears to be evidence. They also searched multiple cars all day long. Just got home from uh, from going to, to the doctors, and so it shocked me that all this activity was going on. It's proof positive that anything can happen anywhere, and neighbors need to know neighbors. I spoke with the Mandeville police chief, Todd Schlem. He says this is an FBI investigation. We got a heads up last night, and that's, a, that's about the extent of it. And when they gave you a heads up, what did they tell you? Hey, so we're, I don't know if they said, they just said we're going to do a warrant, I believe. I don't know if they specified which kind. They said, can we get one unit to control traffic? I said, no problem. That started at around 5 a.m. Police made sure no one could come into the neighborhood this morning. From speaking with the FBI, did they give you any information why they're in the neighborhood? They did not. The only information that I requested, and I wanted to know when there was a secure scene, so you only got Cedarwood School back behind there. And as soon as they gave me the all clear, we um, then then we just we, we pulled off the scenes. And the chief doesn't know if any arrests were made. He's stressing that no one was in danger, but says there was a lot of law enforcement on scene. 20 or 30, I probably the SWAT team, I would guess there was probably maybe 20. And then there was a look like when we left, there was another maybe 10 to 15 vehicles waiting to they were that was probably it looked like a search team to me and people out here still want to know why federal investigators spent the day in their neighborhood but as i look down the road there there are people with your guns on <laughs> just how little we know and it's happening right here under our noses and the sheriff's office also saying tonight that they did assist in this but any information would have to come from the fbi the FBI says they're not releasing any additional details, so stay with us on this developing story. Reporting live, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News. Aubrey, thank you.